hello guys this is the third episode of uh, editing tutorials uh, we are gonna do some color grading in davinci let's begin just created a untitled project here these are some footages which i got from them and is a very nice uh, photographer and go check him on insta at the rate of nadim suraj photography we'll take this clip the sunrise clip and add it over here let's add all the videos here just gonna now we have come to the color panel here today we are gonna look on dolby vision color grading okay dolby vision this is the node based uh, application i'll just make uh, add node we'll just add character gonna point it okay gonna so the first one would be the sky and then uh, and the next node will be the bottom of the water so i am just going to see what would be now we are going to go for the sky i need the sky to be uh, looking really nice orangish uh, i'll just going to pull it off over here okay that would be great I got the skies correctly. Now we'll try to grade the water. Skies, I think so. We need little bit of blueiness and reddishness, like the teal and orange look. So here I'm gonna take the blue. We got the orange. Can little bit increase. in the highlights because it's a early sun so okay i think so this is fine now let's go to the next node in the next node we uh, will try to uh, bring back the water over here so i'm just going to take this tool over this is why i don't use davinci Okay. Okay, this is what I wanted. And let's just little bit increase the highlights and bring back the shadows. A little bit like that to have a feel of uh, HDR. type of kind of video i know it's not hdr yet pull this up till and i could see some of the okay i need just the water to be highlighted so we are coming to dolby vision um dolby vision uh dolby vision is currently free for p1 metadata it can generate p1 metadata Okay uh now we are going to add the third node the hdr mode and it changes nothing it changes nothing but it will change your dolby vision thing without uh, hdr enabling also you can do it but i'm going to do the hdr way now i'll going to select uh 200 nit and click analyze selected because i selected only that clip now a few moments later okay we have analyzed the clip for 200 nit uh, uh uh dolby vision here it looks really nice actually uh having the footages over here i am just going to save the project because i don't think so i have charge in my <laughs> just have a preview how it was and how it's now we will come to the second clip the second uh, clip actually contains uh, a sky actually a sky uh, with a uh, street light so what i gonna do i'll just uh, take only uh, two or three uh, I i'll take two or three notes uh, now um, we will start again from the curve section over here let's turn a uh, let's try to bring down the sky to have okay i'm going to split it to the blue skies and the sun i'm going to sp uh, split it like that 
So, I think so. Sky is good, maybe. Let's turn the blues. Okay, sorry. Control Z. Let's turn the blues little bit up. And in the shadows, we'll just lower the blues. In the highlights, we'll just add the blues. Okay, cool. And now we are gonna just look at uh, R J B. Uh, sorry, the color wheels here. Now we'll just oh, that was too much. I'm just gonna down the lift a little bit, bring it towards the blue. Little bit, gamma. I'm gonna take it to be a little bit down. That's all. And now we'll head towards. Okay, I just uh, sorry. I'll just unlink this because unlink because I did the wrong way. The node one is actually useful like this because if you mess it up you can just have it uh, right back again okay in the next one uh, uh, we'll just take the window one here I'm just gonna drag it over here okay that's the feathering of the rectangle I'm just gonna take it like this The curve section again. I'll go to red, boost up little bit of red and little bit of green so that it has the orange look. Bring down the greens in the shadows and I think so that's me. And then now we are gonna do the HDR version like the Dolby Vision. I'm just gonna click HDR and 200 nits selected. A few moments later. Okay, now we have this one. Here is a fountain. Here is a and this is a variable color change, so it should get dark. It it's uh, it is getting darker, 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 and it goes flash bang, something like that. So um, here the footage is really nice. Just a uh, little bit of I'm just gonna uh, tell it like contrast maybe, like contrast and little bit the highlights up. Little bit the highlights up. I mean down. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, now I have just uh, turned the blue little bit up. Uh, nothing just changed much as it is how it was. And now I am going to the second node. And in second node, I'll just uh, same as this one. Make it towards here. I thought to make it little nice so now uh, I'm just gonna change it little bit higher and I'm gonna bring down the highlights a little bit because I need to see the sky so that it's gonna look nice and then as usual HDR for the third node Dolby Vision okay I'm just going to click HDR mode and click selected. A few moments later. Gonna change the location now. Okay guys, just change the location fast because I didn't have charge in my laptop. In this uh, footage, it's a little bit challenging because it has a lot of colors and it's shot in night. So, uh, we're gonna do some color reading like this. Uh, first we are gonna get rid of this orange thing and make it look like a HDR one. I'm just gonna do blindly Many centuries later Okay, now um, we are uh, we have done the sky is little bit low We'll create a uh, we'll add a node and We'll just we'll just add one more node because it requires lot of notes
the window over here and and i'll go to the curves panel and i'll just short uh, i actually wanted to highlight the building uh, so i was color grading the building okay here in the qualifier i'll just kind of make denoiser to 1.3 clean black to maybe 2 and clean white to be 8 okay i'll just do that i'll explain in the, in the next episode why i did that my computer so please ignore. now we'll click the hdr mode click on dolby vision I did some little bit color grading uh, like uh, boosting the blues uh, for the skies and uh, some uh, more notes for the uh, background buildings like the buildings behind the main building so I did uh, the color grading and separately for that uh, for uh, in a separate note and then I did some extra for the building over here down bottom one and then color grade little bit the the road uh, uh, next to the bridge so I just little bit tweak that if you want to see the part 2 part 2 is on YouTube uh, part 2 will be on YouTube tomorrow so hope you like this session thank you guys for watching and See you in the next episode. Okay? Obi, stop, Madada.